Hello, I'm Ben Domenzino and this is Weather Pulse. We're coming to you today from the Snowy Mountains in New South Wales. We're at Spencer's Creek, where Snowy Hydro are measuring the natural snow depth from the last week. And with the heavy falls we saw during the last week, it should be a good one. Is, is, is a standard piece of equipment that's still used around the world. It's very similar to what's been uh, used ever since the 50s. Also these um, aluminium uh, poles, uh, corers that we use, tend to be the, the best ones to use. But you've got to remember, we can't just measure at one point. We have to take a number of samples to get a representative of it. Okay, so today we measured 179 centimetres of snow depth at Spencer's Creek. That was about a 63 centimetre increase over last week's reading uh, as a result of the storm we had last weekend. The weekly snow gain of 63.4 centimetres at Spencer's Creek finally puts a figure on the five day snowstorm that affected the Alps during the last week and had skiers and snowboarders excited. This is the highest weekly snow gain at Spencer's Creek during August in seven years. While the overall natural snow depth this week of 179 centimetres at Spencer's Creek is well below the all-time record of 3.61 metres in 1981, it is the highest level we've seen there in four years. It's also the best depth we've seen at Spencer's Creek at this point in the season since 2004.